So here we are, 16th hole. Part two of our epic battle. I'm one down there. One down, yeah. Got one back. One three. One three seven. Into slightly off the right. What are you thinking? I'm gonna draw a seven. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. It will be like it's pretty much my knockdown shot, but I'm just gonna get it going down the right side. Just drift back. That's well played. Should spin in a little. Oh, it's a bit big. Just a little bit too much gas on it. It's that with an eight, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sticking with the seven. I think I'm just going to hit it softer. Could do that, yeah. So it's a straighter seven for me, I think. Nice shot, nice safe one. It's quite easy to hook the ball when you're trying to keep it low. So if you had trouble on the left. Trying to just feel that little draw in there can be a nice I'm way to. Use my draw, which is my last one, I think. Is it? Gone high. Gone fade. Have I done a low? I haven't done a low yet. No, I have. I did a low on the par three. So par three was a good shot. Last yeah. Last one. Last one. So little draw. Hike the pressure up on the buzz. Same line as well, I think. Yeah. That's rolling back, that's coming back. Yeah. Nice and safe. Middle of the green, it'll do. It'll do, yeah. This yardage you would think that you can try and attack this pin, but with this wind, do you mean I would I would take that one? But then again I have just hit one over the back, so it's pretty obvious why I would take it. Let's get down there and see what magic okay, I can so do. Got to the green. Steve's just over the back edge there, just on an upslope on the fringe. It's a bit unlucky, just hit it a little bit too hard that one I think. Uh, pin, just around here, little downslope and I'm just there. Um, should really be a couple of threes to be honest. How are you seeing this? Are you pitching or putting? Or chipping? I'm going to chip it. You're going to chip it? It's up quite a bit. There was, if it was, if there was less moisture, I think I would probably cut it. What club you got? Like a nine? Nine. Just enough. Just want to pitch it. Only just on the green. It should release down the hill. Probably that wind just gusting took it there a little bit. Wasn't the best of contacts again if I'm honest. A bit off the bottom group. I think it's the right club and everything. Just it's a pick hard. There's a slight huge Yeah, there's a slight tear. So back into the wind. It hasn't really had the pace. It's been a bit short today, so. Or the line. Or the line. <laughs> kind of encouraging him to come up short. But he hasn't. Yeah, he took sunlight. he took their encouragement and went nope I'm just gonna tap it in great too though mate thank you very much really, it was a good tee shot though really well controlled and a good putt now this is must make yeah two behind currently if this goes in it's pretty straight I think mine did nothing really. Inside. 
was a better stroke then. It's dead straight, isn't it? Oh no! Oh, no, Picard. Hmm. Two shots back. Bit of bit of pressure from you there. Oh yeah, I'm three back. No, you're not. You're two. Just drop one. Thank you. And it's all gone very ro wrong. It has. For one man. Very right for the other. Very good. Very good too. It's the par threes that have uh, undone me, and you've played them very well. Yeah, I played them all right today. Just the rest of it. <laughs> All right, he says. He's got a three-shot lead. This is a really clever hole, this one. Yeah. Um, well, I'll show you. I'll see if I can zoom in on. That, yeah. And you're going to see big dog leg water. Yeah, it's difficult. Like that, yeah. <laughs> so, so normally you can cut the uh, cut the corner on this, but I think it's just going a bit straighter. <laughs> Just trying to go straight here today, leave yourself a longer shot, but I don't think you can carry the water really, so no. So, uh, I'm just gonna I say we could do with those members showing us the line. Yeah, I think it's three wood at the clubhouse, really. Yeah, kind of the uh, the white triangle up there. Okay, so you're looking at sort of that's where I want it to go. Okay. Is that struggling? Does that need another? It's, well, it's water, so. Okay. It's either okay or it's not. Oh, okay. So there's no, like, it's just the pond? Yeah. It annoys me because I hit that good as well. Just tugged it. So if I was hit this on that line, yeah, uh, yeah, you'd you'd be safe on that line. You wouldn't want to go any further left than that, really. I wouldn't have thought. Mind you, you're considerably longer than Val, uh, me. Yeah, that's the bailout. You just pushed it right. I'm a bit annoyed with myself. I was tempted to try and say, I was going to try and say well, I'm going to hit a cut. I bit the shot that I was going to nominate. But I didn't nominate it. But then can. And it wasn't the shot you were trying to hit anyway. Pardon? I was standing up. No, I felt like that's why I hit driver because you could almost squeeze it a bit. Make sure it didn't turn over. Yeah. I think yours was the better of the shots, but that was always the slight risk. Yeah, I'm struggling on that, I think. Yeah, good. <laughs> Good. He's looking for it. It's gone in there. Your points, it's gone in there. This is desperate times for him. This is desperate. I will not be letting him drop it here. Oh, he's found something. Good. I'll come back. <laughs> It was straight. It was actually the quality of the strike that's allowed you to turn it over, I think. But it being yellow steak. <laughs> I've got no shot. There's nowhere to drop it, is there? Well, back here, isn't it? Yeah. You've almost got to go under the tree. Because he can obviously go back as far as he likes. But yeah, that's his line. As far as he likes back on the point in which it entered, but I don't. <laughs> so, on this line? yeah, I'm happy with that line. Yeah, so I'm really sure what the boy can do. That's what I hope for a good line. Yeah, because the green is the green is left, isn't it? 150 is. 150 says. Must be 150. And is it over these big ones here? Yeah. Oop. Tree that. Get him running. Takes the Boswell Championship matches very seriously. You will not usually get a jog out of Pickard. Way across? 
is what's up by the green? There's a couple of bunkers up around. There's not too much trouble around the green. No. I just want to make a bogey hit worse. Yeah, you do. Uh, eight iron. Eight iron. Yeah, I'm not really. Got to get it drawing and high. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I can't help. I do not know where the green is. Basically, straight over this tallest one here. So I've got to draw it. <laughs> Capitulation. Yeah, I yeah. This is Good not draw. not the place to be. He's fatted it out to the right. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably not too bad a result. Let's see if I can do something from where I am. Put Birdie some, from you. Put some pressure on the boy. Could be interesting. Yeah, I thought that was the 150. Yeah, so Steve's basically screwed me. Told me that was a 150, and actually fact this is 200. Yeah. Thanks, pal. Yeah, but to be fair, you fatted it to where you'd have laid it up anyway, so I was arguing. Oh yeah, you've done me a favour. Cheers. Yeah. All right. 180. 186. Downwind off the right. Seven. Ball above your feet. It's going to turn a little. 180. 186. It's got to be, hasn't it? If it was a tournament, I'd hit six, I think. It is a tournament. No, but I need, that as in, <laughs> middle of the green is good, but I, I need to give myself a birdie chance. Well, I can't go home wandering, mate. I'm giving myself a double birdie chance. <laughs> Aiming in that bunker, all above me feet. Okay, oh, that. If I said that was a little right, I'd be lying. It's drifted back a bit in the wind, so it's just short right at the bunker. Such a bad golf shot. Yeah. My mind scrambled. My mind is scrambled. It's the right shot, I just didn't play it. It's execution rather yeah. than thought. Yeah. See, at least you executed my game plan for you very poorly and it made it work out alright. <laughs> See it? Hence the reason I was doing you a favour. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gained a shot on Picard, but neither of us are in that good a position. This pin is quite tight. To be honest, with Picard being a bit further back, he can probably get a bit of spin. The pin's very tight though, isn't it? Yeah. Your ball above your feet's not really helping. No. I've got a flatter line. Mine's, mine's the easier of the two. But this is up and down a ball. Distance, just, just a slope, isn't it? Just face plane tilt, Steve. All face plane say. tilt. Obviously, a wedge has got lots of loft, so you do get more curvature off of the off of the old line. Fuming. Fuming. Never mind. Come on, Steve. Come on, band of brothers. Cross your fingers. See what I can do. The over-the-shoulder filming. It's a new thing. It's the new thing. <laughs> yeah. It incorporates artistic nature. And laziness. So here we are. So I can get my hand on that. That's fairway. Unless you say otherwise. It's fairway, isn't it? Yeah. So again, winter rules just allowing Steve a favourable lie. I didn't use mine there. <laughs> I'm a good sport, Steve. Desperate. Use the rules to your advantage, mate. That's what we're doing. Just land it on the fringe and let it kind of. Yeah. I was going to try grab. and almost open it up. I don't think there's any need. It's Pitch one... it kind of four or five yards short and let it roll yeah. out. It's a very tight pin. They knew we were coming. Didn't know how bad we are. Oh. Ports. Desperate times, isn't it? Do you know when you don't make a big enough backswing and you get good contact and then kind of do this to try and get it going a bit further, but yeah, it does after nothing. After impact, it does yeah. nothing. It does nothing. Oh, no. Oh, Stephen. It's just so tight. Do you mean it? I could tip that in, though, to be fair. 
you could. Right, just coming down by the green. Steve has left his 30 yard pitch, kind of three yards short. That's disappointing. 10%. Little seven iron? Little seven iron. Little seven iron. Not the first time it's been out this hole. Give me south a chance. That chip wasn't that hard. I've made that this hard. As we've made this hole a cut. Agreed. I hit that how I was trying to hit it, so. It's just, or maybe I'm just not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really, I have really nothing else to say. But I have disappointed I am. Second shot. Trying to get it too close. Pressure of the match. Do you mean he's, um, he's done well. But he knocks that out. I need this one to miss. And I have to on mine. This is well, not the best. No, that's given. That's given. So this one. To go within one. No. Oh no, to go within two. Down the last. The bar would have made it interesting. Yeah, this is boring now, Steve. Didn't happen. Yeah, yeah switch off, guys. Sue me won the jacket. Yeah, well out. Yeah, get one back. It's a good bogey, that one. <laughs> Just giving yourself a chance, that's why I'm annoyed. I'm not really annoyed with the bogey. Just giving myself a part chance. Which I didn't do there. No, you didn't. And I've got to play a fade down a hole that is designed for a drawdown at last, I've heard so. Correct. This ain't great. So Things looking T. AT for T. have had a fantastic day. But the day could be... Being scratched down is a loss. I have to make birdie here. Because you're beating me on the birdie count as well. Yeah. So I have to make birdie. And I have to cut one off the tee, which I wouldn't do. There's a lot of half tees. I have to man up. I have to not cry if I don't make the birdie. Although that might happen. Fade. It's definitely fading. Um, almost. Potentially down on the 17th fairway, nearly. Have to find that one. On a, <laughs> on a positive note, it's a good angle in. It's an angle in. To be fair with the pin, again, I'm just trying to make sure I fade it. Sometimes you've got to have a bit more bravery. Because if it doesn't fade, it's game over. Leaving it to the last. So Picard. Just a straight one, I think. It's a straight one. I not see many of them today. No. <laughs> It's a shame if you hit a hook out of bounds. It would be. <laughs> nah, that's a great shot. That's a really good flighted shot. Not sure if I got the landing, but it's... That's very good, mate. You've played, you've played nicely today. I know you're striking and you, you are a member of the ball striking club, so... I know it's not maybe been as nice as you thought, but... You play pretty solidly. Need more birdies. <laughs> Needed a few more birdies, but not any more to beat me. <laughs> Arrived up on the 18th green. Steve with his. Well, he had to play the fade on his last tee shot, unfortunately, which is a hole that doesn't really encourage a fade with the trees on the left. So, um, just blocks it a little right. Now he's got. Probably 80 yards, 90 yards over a bunker to a back left pin. It's not a bad angle to come in from really. Um, just depends how his ball sitting looks alright from here. Just play the low one. It's just going to creep on. Yeah. Gonna have to pull a, pull a fairly hefty putt there really. Um, Unlucky. Crazy. Thought I did a good one there. Hit that exactly how I was trying to hit it. Probably coming way in from the right, I suppose. <laughs> 
Go on, Pickard. Finish with a bang. I'll try and chase one up there. Yes, that's a good flight. Nice shot, mate. Thank you. Very nice. Hey, man. Like that. What a man. What a man. What a man. Duh. Over the hey, shoulder. Hey. Over the shoulder again. Yeah, disappointed with mine. I thought mine was pin high, maybe a fraction to the left. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see how much slope there was. Again, this would be like this pin would be tricky in the summer. But not for Picard. So shot the green. Three. Steve's got pretty much this uphill quite well all the way. Probably nearly 30 feet. Um, bit of swing on it, Steve. A little bit. It's, it's more up than swing. Yeah, it's all about pace. This one really. Be nice to see this one drop. It's played well today, really. A couple of dodgy ones, but in general, played very well. It's another good stroke. It's bang on line, just legs again. Take it away. Ah, on line. Not what the doctor ordered, but go on, picks. A great little pitch in there. You could not have done that better. Underneath the hole, this would obviously be given because he's got about five from here. <laughs> Let's just see the birdie to finish. Great birdie to finish, mate. Thank you very much. Really well played. Thank you very much for the game, Steve. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Thank you to Taunton Pickerish for letting us come up here. Doing this is November and the course is in great nick. Uh, Good course, very good. Middle of the summer, I would imagine it is exceptional. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously the greens were great today, just kind of slow. Summertime, they're best in, just about the best in the region here. Yeah? Yeah, very, very good. But now I will, uh, will endeavour to come back, maybe do another one when the greens are quick and really show how nasty they can be. Absolutely. Cheers for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you soon.